Hey everyone, John Hendricks here for Boot Crew Media coming at you with another episode of The Drive presented by Royal Honda. Friday, team's off. Team's off actually for a few days. Uh, Dennis Allen had said on Thursday that the players are going to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Back at it on Monday to start work in preparation for their week one matchup against the Falcons. Uh, obviously, it's not just going to be the players. Dennis Allen also said that the coaches were going to be off, spend some time with their families. Uh, they had already started some of their preparation work on the Falcons. So good sign, good things. I think that's been a big emphasis and focal point of DA is to make sure that you treasure some of the family time and obviously get your mind off of football for a little bit. And for the players, it's a chance for them to kind of get their bodies right and prepare mentally because you have an 18 week season, a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. So Big things I would tell you right now going into week one, some of the things that we're paying attention to is obviously the health of the team. But the good news is that a lot of the players seem to be trending upwards, right? And so obviously they made some moves, uh, putting Trevor Penning on IR and Malcolm Roach. So again, we kind of explained it a little bit, but when a player goes on IR right now, when the regular season starts as, as far as the 53-man roster, they can come back. They have to miss a minimum of four games uh, and then you can bring back up to eight players to uh, during the course of the season. So Penning and Roach would be two of those guys. Now, if you put them on preseason or if you put them on IR in, in the preseason or, you know, during training camp, that means their season's over. So uh, Penning, you know, a time frame, obviously they said it's a significant injury, uh, you know, with the foot, toe, however you want to slice that up. But, uh, you know, I think, targeting date from what I understand is probably the November time frame. You know, I'd say he's going to miss the first couple of months. Uh, and then Roach probably more optimistic that he would be back after the four games that the team had missed. And this is the reason why, you know, you bring back Jordan Dr Jackson on the practice squad, Christian Ringo on the practice squad, you know, guys that can fill up in a pinch, uh, you know, fill out for you on your squad. And so those are things to keep an eye on, but overall the health of the team seems to be getting there. Right. Um, First and foremost, James Hurst, he said, you know, that he kind of went out practice Wednesday, tested things out. Things felt great. Thursday, he feels like he's 100 percent, kind of like riding a bike. So that's great news for their left left tackle situation. He's obviously going to be the starter there. Landon Young, he had a, got banged up during uh, the preseason, uh, you know, some preseason action more in the training camp, kind of that, that time in Green Bay. Missed a little bit of time, but he's good to go. Carl Granderson's another one. He's good to go. Uh Alante Taylor, that's another big one that we've looked at. He's been dealing with that hip flexor. He said he's working his way back in. He was participating in some seven-on-seven -seven drills. He's trending upwards right now, so that's great news. Paulson Adebo has been a big one, dealing with an ankle sprain. Again, he says he's on the, feels pretty good on where he's at as far as his trajectory. I believe he's going to be great, good to go week one. Team's going to need him, obviously, especially with some of the plans that they have to do in the slot. But uh, that was something I wouldn't worry too much about. You know, others like Mark Ingram, we haven't seen him in, you know, uh, practice past couple of days. He has been in the locker room, so that's a good sign. I don't, I don't think there's anything really to worry about there. Um, as far as other ones, Pete Warner would be another one. You know, look, he's been out there practice, testing things, things out. Seems to be feeling pretty good right now, and his his mind space is kind of that he feels like he's going to be on track to play week one. So we'll have to keep an eye on there. Uh, Eric Wilson is a guy that could play alongside Demario Davis if they need to, and of course, you know, a lot is made about the slot. Um, Saints could play four three, right? You know, you could have Caden Ellis out on the field with Demario and another linebacker. That's a possibility that you know we don't really talk about a lot, but. Um, you know, it's just things to keep an eye on. Uh, the big ones, obviously, I would say is Traquan Smith and, and Michael Thomas just kind of just wrapping up kind of the injury rundown for this team. Um, everything I understand about Michael Thomas is that it, there's a lot more optimism there that he should be on track to play in week one. He's been dealing with a hamstring injury, hasn't been spotted around the facility that we've seen. Again, that could be totally different that he's there getting rehab, doing what he needs to. And look, I don't think that's um, something that everybody should be really worried about. You know, he's coming back from the ankle injury, goes pretty hard. The hamstring becomes a problem. You want to make sure that that's right so it's not a lingering issue. But everything I understand and have been told, he should be on track for week one. Um, the only Real big thing that I'd say we probably shouldn't expect is Traquan Smith um, injured his shoulder. 
against the Chargers. Uh, his arm was in a sling. You know, that's that's not a, a great sign. He hasn't been put on IR. I think, you know, it's one of those that you could see him be inactive for the first several weeks and, and just depending on the severity of it. But, you know, him not going to IR yet is probably a good sign. But for him, you know, they use him more as a run blocker. Um, and, and again, he can catch passes. He had that great game against the Falcons last year. But, you know, that's one to keep an eye on. But overall, the Saints' health is trending on the upwards tick. Uh, I think this is a great encouraging sign for the team. Obviously, you don't want to be dealing with a lot of stuff going into week one of the season when you're facing 18 weeks of this thing. And the Saints have a very late bye week. So it'll be a focal point of this season. Key to their success, obviously. We'll obviously keep a lot more tuned to it, uh, being, you know, that next week is game week, right? So enjoy the Labor Day weekend. Again, I'm John Hendricks for Boot Crew Media. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks to Rohanda for producing today's show. Thanks, guys. Be good people.